Okay, here we go with a uh, real life phaser, or at least something simulated to it. I don't know. How do we say this? Here's the thing a phaser in the distance, this. Okay, so you guys have got a good sight on that. Here's the thing the current technology, you guys don't have uh, small enough projectiles to have your laser sight, as you call it, and the place where the projectile comes out of being the same place. Now here's the thing. You have to combine the place out of which the projectile comes with the laser side. If you were to do that, well, you'd basically have a, a laser beam either in front or behind the projectile. Uh, because currently what you guys have, technology is just not there yet. You'd have to get into uh, particle physics. And the thing is, you'd have to have projectiles so small that they were like particle in nature. So that you could basically uh, shoot the laser sight, as you guys call it, out at the same place you would shoot out your particle projectiles that are um, charged. And when they hit a target, they release their energy, and that's what a, a stunning phaser would be in the future. Now here's the thing, it's kind of like if you were to take a bunch of different uh, rifle barrels, if you're looking straight at them, a bunch of rifle barrels that were put like really close together, no uh, no uh, stocks, no what do you call them, the back part of it that's wood, just the barrels themselves, bare bones, you got the the hammer and the, the, uh, the uh, Darn it, I know what it's called. The needle. It looks like a needle. It hits the back of the projectile and makes it go. Uh, the hammer hits the... Dang it, what is it? I have a brain fart again. I know what it's called. Anyway, the pin. The pin? Anyway, imagine in the middle of this grouping of... of those circles represent the front end of, of barrels. Oh, it's too small. You guys can't even see it. So a bunch of little circles. I'll have to make that bigger. There's this laser sight in the middle of this grouping of barrels that are put like side by side this. And out of here is where the laser would come out. Right in the middle of that grouping, I don't know if you can see that little X, that little spot right here in the middle. Right there where the laser side would come out and shoot out in the same direction exactly out from the middle of this grouping right here in the middle of this little X right there where this, where this thing is right now. And that's where the laser would shoot out the same trajectory as these barrels are aiming at. You're looking down the barrels of several rifles. That, that's the only way I can think of to, to, uh, to illustrate how it's going to be in the future. When you have uh, particle weapons that can shoot out particles from the same place and you have a very, very small laser sight shooting out from the same place <coughs> inside this bigger uh, tube. This is a really blown up version of it. It's almost like that. It's like this is like this big circle would be like the size of like one of your um, small rifle barrels, and out of that would be these all these little areas of like places where particles are shot out of, and the laser sight is right there in the middle of this grouping. Right there would be the laser shooting straight out in the same direction that all those particles would be shot out of. This is a blown up version of what would be maybe no more than the size of the tip of this. Well, no more than the size of this, probably. This little uh, pointer that I have here. We have particle weapons that, that the barrel is no more than, than this. Let's see if I can get that lined up with you guys. Oh, dang, I don't have all my lights on. Oh. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's much better. Okay, uh, darn it, I'm still missing a light. I didn't put it on. Okay, so what the deal is, is as technology gets better and your, um, it actually gives a glare, doesn't it? Move that over. As uh, part the technology is able to produce uh, projectiles that are very much smaller and they're actually um, accelerated out, you're looking at the front end of a, of a barrel, basically right here, and the particles, these circles represent uh, places where particles are shot out of, and in the middle of that grouping 
is where the laser beam would be shooting straight out at us. That's how they're accelerated in the uh, future. The, you guys have technology like this already. It's called Metal Storm, I believe is what they call it, right? And what they've done is taken a lot of barrels, just like that, lined them up side by side. It's more like a, a rectangular shape to the lining up, though. A uh, metal storm is more like, uh, be more like this, where the barrels are take on a shape like this, and all of them are like exactly side by side and right underneath each other, perfectly square. It's not exactly the way it's supposed to be, but inside those tubes, those all represent barrels inside a square aperture. I'm not sure if that's the right word. But the thing is, when um, each one of these barrels has, it's a tube, and you look at the front end, and inside that tube are a bunch of uh, bullets or projectiles back to back like so. Here's the tube, there's the end of it. Back here, you got all your projectiles that are lined up inside the tube. I'm doing a terrible job of this. Back to back. Okay. Okay. They're lined up inside here, back to back. I'm just going to go like this and make that one like that. And then go like that and make that one like that. I'm not even sure if I'm getting that right. That looks anything like. Artistically, I'm terrible. But they're lined up back to back inside that tube. What happens is this tube, all of these are like one, two, three, four, five, six projectiles lined up back to back. What happens is an electric current, uh, and there, there's there's uh, circuitry inside this that, that it can tell based on the furthest most uh, projectile to the front of the barrel which one to to light up, if you will. And what happens is between here and here, this first projectile completes the circuit right here. <coughs> and it only completes one circuit at a time. The frontmost circuit is what it completes. And you guys already have this technology. And there are a lot of these barrels like this stuck into this grouping like this. And each one of these, you're looking at the front of them, um, <coughs> are set up like this with several projectiles inside them, maybe even more than this. This is just an example. And as the circuit is completed, it fires off that one. And as soon as that one's gone away, the next one, a split second later, fires off. And then as soon as that one's gone, the next one it fires off. So the, the propellant is actually part of the projectile. <coughs> okay? And each one of these is doing the same thing at the same time. So what you get is all of these firing at the same time. And these, there's no cocking action required. There's no pump action like in a pump shotgun required. There's no lever action required. As soon as one flies, the next projectile in the, in the series here flies out. Is is uh, electrically, uh, how do you call it, ignited. has a primer inside and the electricity actually that flows through the circuit circuitry and, and it hits this one off. That one flies and the next one immediately flies and the next one immediately flies out. So that down the range, that they, and they, they, you can look at this on the Discovery Channel, they've had this metal storm, that is, when they showed uh, high-speed cameras, there's like one, here, here's a target right here, and you have one bullet about to hit it, slow motion, and another one right behind it, not even a couple of feet behind that, and behind that another one, so that all the, the bullets in this, all the projectiles in this tube are gone in just a matter of just one or two seconds even. <laughs> like that, they're all gone. That's it. You, I mean, that, and that, that, in a matter of a, a second or two, we're talking about um, 20 to 30 projectiles being fired out in a matter of one to two seconds. Maybe even more, something like, more, probably more around 50. <laughs> but the idea is if you miniaturize this idea, then you'll understand th how this one is possible. Because if you miniaturize each one of these projectiles down to the nanoscale, nano then what you see is these are all lined up and they're particles being blasted out. And the laser sight is along the same exact trajectory as where, the, where they would be shooting. Thank you.